Righto everybody, it's customised mattress day. Grab yourself a tape measure and get ready to measure up because chances are if you're measuring up a uh, mattress on a boat, it's going to be all different shapes and sizes. We've got the right company, the right tools and the right templates to work with. We're going to do a bit of timber work for starters. Once that's out of the road, we're going to show you the steps involved measuring up for a customised mattress. Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. So as some of you may know, when we first got this boat, Bella had the option to choose which room she wanted to get. And she chose the bigger room and I got the hole in the wall. Now what we're gonna do is because it's not big enough, so we're gonna extend it to make it a little bit bigger so that I can have a, my arms don't hang off when I'm sleeping and when I roll over, my blanket falls on the ground. We're gonna make it so I'm a little bit more comfortable. Redoing my bed. So what do you want? How big do you want it? It's about out to here. <laughs> uh, we're roughly about two meters. So for you Americans, about six foot eight, somewhere around there in length. We're looking at about uh, 19 inches, so about 500 millimeters. So he's about 500, so. Oh, look, we've got 600. I think he's um, trying to get a little extra here for no reason. Oh, really? Huh? Okay, that's look, my mate, shoulders. You just sleep like a Lego man, you'll be right. Yeah, but that's my shoulders. My arms go down like that. Oh, okay. Though. So you, your arms hang out like you do at the dinner table. Is that right? Well, look how far it's 70. Seven. 700. 700 millimetres. So, They're trying to make right. the bed as big as possible so, like they can in this tiny little room. I'm going to tie it into this corner over here, I think. So we're going to be looking at... Oh, just under 30 inches, so about 760 millimetres. The problem isn't here. The problem is down here. My feet. Ah, so he's got a problem down here. He's got <laughs> big feet. No, it's, it's not. Apparently when he puts them side by side, <laughs> they don't fit. <laughs> hey guys, so we've got at the moment, say, 26 inches. We're going to extend that to 30. So we'll keep the bed symmetrical. So let's see what 30 looks like down this end. Jeez. To here. Like it, so this is roughly going to be here. So that's going to give him a whole lot of more room. It is going to take up a little bit of the room though. So just to give you a bit of a line to how it's going to look. Pretty much the new line of the bed. So, oh sorry, what did we say 30? So there. So that'll be the go. new line. So it's still going to have room to walk. You can walk around in here. Yeah. Um, still got room That's to move. Fine. So just you're just going to have a little bit more room for those big feet and griller arms. Oh. <laughs> We're extending this bed today. We're going to be doing the framework and then we're going to be measuring up for a customized mattress. This area is going to be quite simple. Apart from the woodwork, we're going to just move this timber out. It's a flat surface here. It'll be a flat surface here, and we've got two flat ends, which means the mattress will be square. We'll be doing the V-berth, and that's going to be slightly different because the walls are actually following the shape of the hull, so therefore the mattress will have to be cut out to the hull. So we'll save the uh, hard one till last. Or second. So as some of you may know, we were at the recent Annapolis boat show and we bumped into a really awesome company. Their mattresses, we all, we all tested them out, we all love them. We've decided to work with the company, Artesian's Mattresses. Today we're going to be extending my bed and then putting down their template and measuring out at my new mattress. And we'll show you how easy it is to measure, order, and receive a new custom mattress wherever you are in the world. All right, well, the first thing the guys are gonna do is we're going to take out the old mattress because once they extend the bed, this mattress is no longer a fit. So that's why we are ordering a customized mattress. I'll leave them to it. That's so much more room. Just that little tiny bit there is so much more. 
when you look from out here now. Yeah. Wow. It makes a massive huge difference. That's the ultimate. I, that, would be, that would be nice because I could sit and work. Got that there. Just stick my head out the window. Roughly there then, hey? Is that it? Yeah. Yeah. Roughly got where I need to uh, put our new sheet of ply. I've cut a little template there, it'll help me with this rounded corner. And I think I'm going to have to bring in the timber first. The thing is to think about if you're going to go the cheap and get just a normal mattress that you can't fold up like the mattress we're about to get a lot of companion ways in your boat won't allow that so hopefully we can get the timber in at least we know we can fold our new mattress up so that's a bonus with this mattress company is that if you only have a small companion way but a big bed you're going to need something like this to wind up and get through your companion way all right let's see if it fits all right i don't think we're going to but we might have to cut it in half i'm just getting pushed See, just real slow, like inch by inch, and you're looking at the whole sheet. There we go. This will break stuff. Slow and steady, watch your lead. Okay, just stop here. We're gonna have to think about how this is gonna go in. Okay, so it has to go in your end first into there, and this is where we'll see if we've got to cut it down. We may have to cut a meter off this. Cut it I'm not in sure here. yet. It's just a normal standard bed. Standard bed now. So great. I did lose 95% oh, of my room, but. <laughs> <laughs> it's all a compromise, Tashi. Wait, slowly. Okay, so this is where you keep going into your corner. Slowly. Don't. Close. All we've got to do is go up as high as you can without damaging the ceiling, and then we'll see if we can get this in tiny that much, which we might get. So just slowly go up. I knew getting it, the old one out was a struggle, so I knew adding length to this was going to make it a bit harder. We can just cut a 100 mil off that, that's fine. I don't mind having a join down here. But the other thing we used to do when we are plastering back in the day, Bend it, I we used to get sheets like this of plasterboard and we get them, we go like this. We lift them up a bit. This hasn't got enough bend in it. Uh, there's no other way. If we come in the other way, it's not going to work. So no, we're going to have to cut this. Artesian mattress package arrived. What they explain on how to do everything, depending on what type of bed your shape is, thickness is, angles are. Blueprint for his mattress here. I'm going to apply this uh, over the top while it's out here. Only reason I'm doing this is because we've extended Taj's bed. Normally, you would just have to go into the bedroom and do it in there. But for now, you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. Um, so I'm going to lay this out, cut four holes, support it, and go from there. Uh, it's not rocket science. We just want to end up with a template that mirrors and matches Taj's base of his bed. The sides are all square, so we're not going to have to go into detail like we are in Bella's room with angles. Let's get into it. To put some masking tape across. So what that's going to do is hold our template in place whilst we cut out the perimeter so we don't want it moving around that's the idea behind the holes all right guys so this is a stanley knife pretty stock standard tool these days you could use a box cut or anything you like you could even use a pair of scissors but i've just run around as i've explained in our circumstance i've got our base out so it's quite easy for me i was able to run along here but uh Every situation is going to be different. You might have to actually put marks along here with a texter. 
where the bed is located and remove this sheet and cut along with scissors and then check that you've got your template right. So this is pretty much our template ready to be sent back. Like I say, we've got one more line to do here. So we've got a bulkhead that's somewhere along here. So we'll put another cut along here and then that's template finished. They got it in, had to chop something off. Well, we have to cut it for starters. It all fits apart from about two millimeters at that end. I just got to do a little trim and we should be good. This is our template. Uh, I've laid the template down. I've lined up my holes again. I did actually have a couple little dots on there just to help me line up the holes. It all fits good, so that's good. Everything went to plan with the plywood base, so returns underneath this bulkhead. Just before I installed the bulkhead, I just laid down our template. I'm just about to put a, our final cut along here, and I'll remove our template, send that away. That's how easy it is, guys. Apart from the timber work on this, it probably would have taken me half an hour to measure up this mattress. It's nice and square. It's pretty straightforward. There's a slight curve here and there. So we're going to wrap this up now. Day one. And we're going to remove our template. I'm just going to fold this up, put it in the bag, but that's it. Send that away. We're going to have a custom fitted mattress in here and the bedroom's going to have a proper mattress. Wait till the uh, mattress arrives and we'll go from there. Taj has been sleeping on his little mattress in his big bed <laughs> for a little while while we've waited, but it's arriving today. And um, we'll show you the result and what Taj thinks of the mattress. And um, you guys have seen the whole process. It's been super easy and we're very, this guy's very excited. Yeah, because this thing is not very comfortable. Dad's going to pick up my mattress. Tempopedic, baby! Woo! It's gone from a bed that he couldn't get a nice, comfy night's sleep on to this. Oh my wow. god. Anyway, look at that. Hey? Very good. Alright, here's his room. It's all ready. It's all ready. And here is the unveiling. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Here we go. This a beautiful mattress is about to go into the bedroom. <laughs> See, all you needed was Bella's help. Whoa, that's really comfy. Look at My this! Ooh, you so is it, Bella? It's real nice. It's an excellent fit and incredibly comfortable. Artesian Custom Mattress is kindly offering our viewers a free custom mattress protector with every order. All you have to do is use the promo code, which is Bonus 23 when you place your order. Fit all the little edges, it's all been cut. Uh, what do you want to say to Artesian Mattresses? Oh, thank you guys so much. And if you are looking for a custom mattress for your boat, this company was a absolute pleasure to work with. It was easy, it was quick. Pretty sure Taj is gonna have a dream sleep now. Links are all down below. If you want to jump over to their website, take a look at Artesia mattresses. Go check them out. Let them know that you got sent over from Catalpa and um, they'll look after you. You wanna sleep peacefully just like this guy? Well, you need to head over to artesianmattress.com and order yourself a customized mattress for your boat. And you too could look as peaceful and sleepy and happy as this guy. Oh, you could. <laughs> Click the link down below. Honestly though, guys, we aren't getting paid, but we are super stoked with this customized mattress. I mean, this bed has improved not only in size for Taj, but he now has a decent mattress. Because this is our home, we want we want to sleep well. We want to have everything like a home does. And with this mattress now, Taj can feel like he's comfortable. He gets a good night's sleep, and he won't wake up grumpy and angry at everybody else on the boat. <laughs> oh, it's so funny! It's so funny! <laughs> a pleasurable experience getting a mattress made. 
that's it. We're going to wrap it up. Thanks for watching, guys. Taj is going to go to sleep now because he can. He hasn't slept the whole time he's been on this boat. Tonight yeah. is going to be his first good night's sleep. <laughs> he's first full. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, put a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. If you subscribe, then you've got to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our episodes so you can watch every single one and be in the loop of Catalpa. See you next time. Bye. We're not putting that on because I don't look great. <laughs>